سلام 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 Mumbai, a city well known for its all-encompassing multifaceted spirit and liveliness, is amongst the prominent cities of the world. This financial capital of India represents the true face of unity in diversity. Off the eastern coast of Mumbai, at Sion lies of open land, the Somaya ground, a location ideal for this international summit. The International Islamic Peace Conference and Exhibition was held consecutively for three years at this very venue. The Sumaya ground was hired for four weeks. The temporary structures were constructed in a short span of two weeks. The event was conducted for 10 days and the structures were demolished in four days. It was indeed a gigantic endeavor, building a magnificent setup for the proposed event virtually from scratch. Skilled and dedicated workers, technicians, set and decor specialists, art directors, visualizers and designers, among others, worked round the clock to transform the calm environs of the location into a global kaleidoscopic landscape for promoting Islam and peace. People from various socio-cultural backgrounds from India and abroad turned up in large numbers to witness the conference. Entry was free with quick registrations. For the safety and security of all present at the venue, a meticulously planned security system was in place, adequately manned and monitored with state-of-the-art equipment and technology. For understanding and appreciating Islam at the Peace Conference, a permanent 10-day exhibition on Islam was featured in air-conditioned pavilions, having over 400 panels on Islamic faith and tenets with references from the glorious Quran and Hadith, as well as 50 model displays on Islam. Huge and enthusiastic gathering of Muslims from India and abroad attended the Jumma Khutbah and Salah in Jamaat, led by Sheikh Ali Al Abbasi, the Imam of Masjid Al Aqsa, Jerusalem. This was the largest Islamic conference of its kind in the history of Islamic world with a spacious venue of over 35 acres. Audiences attending in hundreds of thousands to witness the 10-day conference and exhibition and professional recording for television of the event from the first to the last day. Brothers and sisters, the world-renowned sheikhs and esteemed speakers before you all, the best selected English-speaking Islamic scholars and orators of international stature came together on one platform. The International Islamic Peace Conference and Exhibition was telecast live around the world on Peace TV. The tone of the conference was set with brief inaugural speeches by all the international speakers present, namely Abdul Rahim Green, UK. From the evil consequence of our evil actions. Yasir Fazaga, USA. Where to learn from an insect, the bee is the insect to learn from. Yasir Qadri, USA. Is that it does not need supporting evidence. Our objective Naik, is India. peace. Our way is peace. Our dream is peace. Our mission is peace. Our vision is peace. Our aspiration is peace. Our destination is peace. We love peace and inshallah we will attain peace. Hussein Yi, Malaysia. Sometimes people offer the Islamic greeting to all of you. Salim Al Amri, UAE. Or establish or achieve without being in peace 
with your Creator. Saeed Rahe, Somalia. Behind you there is a long line of people. All of them are going other than paradise. Asim Al Hakim, Saudi Arabia. Woman or child until you all accept Islam. On the spot, every single one of them embraced Islam. All Yusuf you who believe, Estes, give Allah USA. his rights, have fear for Allah's anger, and don't die except in a state of Islam as Muslim. Dr. Jamal Badawi, Canada. Connected one time with mercy and another time with forgiveness, which is quite significant. Dr. Jafar Idris, Sudan. Messages, but it is their task to explain that message to their people in their own languages. Dr. Mamdouh Muhammad, USA. This is an endless source of knowledge for humanity. Dr. Zaglal Al Najjar, Egypt. Creator, or glory be to him, without parallels partners or similars. Hatham Al-Haddad, UK. Or the challenge of secularism, or the challenge of liberalism. That is the real challenge. Yahya Ibrahim, patience, Australia. Of perseverance, of assistance of your brother or your sister in their sin. Saying that Jimmy God Jones, USA. And putting into action, as many of my colleagues have said, is the answer to this crisis. Dr. Ahmad ibn Saifuddin, Saudi Arabia. To see what we can do in this great conference. Dr. Lawrence Brown, USA. In their lives, asks themselves, who made me and why am I here? Adhar Khan, India. Stand out firmly for justice as witnesses for Allah. Abdul Rahim McCarthy, USA. The only true solution for the problems of all the problems of mankind is Islam. Abdul Bari Yahya, USA. Spread the peace. Spread the salams. As-salam, peace. How these James Yee, USA. Were being persecuted for their faith. For believing in one God, for believing in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Arib Islam, South Africa. It's a life changing, peace changing experience. Yusuf Idris, Sudan. Especially through prayers. Amar Amanet, USA. We are not able to do that. We cannot proclaim the message of Islam without peace and security. Dr. Shoaib Sayyid, India. And Dr. Zakir Naik, India. Dr. Zakir Naik, the illustrious and world-renowned scholar on Islam and comparative religion, has long been committed to the noble purpose of spreading the word of Islam. His style of oratory bears an uncanny resemblance to his mentor and the person who has influenced him most in making Dawa his passion for life, Sheikh Ahmad Didat. And remembering the person who changed my life towards peace. The person who changed me from the doctor of the body to the doctor of the soul. It's none other than late Sheikh Ahmad Didat. To combat untoward emergencies, considering the scope of the event and the huge crowds present, there were ready facilities of fire brigades, ambulances and a free medical care centre for all the 10 days. Throughout the 10-day event, elaborate security arrangements were maintained and hundreds of professionals and security personnel were deployed. Teams of police officers were there on strict vigilance round the clock to ensure the safety and security of all the people present throughout the conference. To avoid monotony and add grandeur to the presentations, the colour, design and appearance of more than 12,000 square foot huge open-air stage sets as well as the indoor stage with state-of-the-art intelligent lighting and props were modified every day. This maintained the liveliness and interest 
both in the proceedings and amongst the audience. The much-awaited speech by Dr. Zakir Naik on women's rights in Islam, protected or subjugated, was telecast live across the world as he held a large audience in rapt attention by his logical and convincing presentation on the women's rights enshrined in Islam. Women have actually degraded her to a status of concubine, mistresses and society butterflies which are employed as mere tools in the hands of sex marketers and pleasure seekers which are hidden behind the colorful screen of art and culture. Dr. Zakir Naik spoke with his usual candor and certainty followed by his infallible answers to probing questions on the topic. So for you to go to heaven, besides upbringing your two daughters correctly, you have to follow the laws of the Quran and the Sahih Hadith and be a believer. Ashadu. Ashadu. Allah. Allah ilaha ilaha illallah illallah wa ashadu wa ashadu anna anna muhammadan muhammadan abduhu abduhu wa rasuluhu wa rasuluhu mashallah highly influenced and spellbound by the writers and novel message of the conference many people embraced islam and reverted to the true faith i feel that uh, dr zakir naik is such a uh, gem to this world and he is a true genius Alhamdulillah, he is very knowledgeable and he has inspired many non-Muslims. Well, he is an excellent person. I should say that he is a role, role model for me. He is one who has changed my life. You can ask him any questions, any uh, you know sensitive issues, anything. He is very forthright and he gives a logical answer. At the same time, it's based on the Quran because he's always quoting verses. Dr. Jamal Badavi reflected on what makes Muslims special in the sight of God in his talk, Justly Balanced Ummah. The delegate's lounge was a comfortable and cozy space for the invited international speakers to relax, deliberate, share and interact with each other. It provided an apt ambience for the honored guests and speakers to network and socialize. For the comfort of the audience who attended the morning and afternoon lecture sessions, a special air-conditioned hall was constructed over an acre of land, which had a cooling capacity of over 1,200 tons. Criticizing the biased propaganda bombarded against Islam in the international media, 15-year-old Farid Naik, Son of Dr. Zakir Naik, with reason, logic and science, gave apt answers to the 20 most common questions about Islam that troubled the minds of non-Muslims. Farik, son of Dr. Zakir Naik, was the prodigy, promising and dynamic speaker at the 10-day event, a feast in oratory for the audience. Quoting references from the glorious Quran and authentic Hadith and various other scriptures. Any human being to point out a single fundamental of Islam which is against humanity as a whole. Alhamdulillah, it's a very great conference as so many people are gathered all together only for spreading one cause, for one mission. And you see the arrangement, it is Alhamdulillah, so much professionalism as this conference is mainly to make people aware what actually Islam is. What the media portrays, that's not actually what Islam is. The peace conference was also graced by Anwar Ibrahim, the former Deputy Prime Minister of Malaysia and a visionary who had set up the International Islamic University of Malaysia in Kuala Lumpur. Anwar Ibrahim spoke on the importance of justice and peace in the world and the role Islam and Muslims can play to ensure the same in his keynote address on current world affairs, problems and solutions. South African Islamic Nasheed vocalist Zain Bhika held the audience in rapt attention with his beautiful melodious songs devoted to the glory of Islam. The needs of children were also taken care of and there was a special play area with games arranged for their recreation.
parents could leave their children in the safe hands of caretakers while they concentrated on and derived maximum benefit from the peace conference talks and the exhibition. Next to it was the Halal Expo, displaying a vast array of goods and services available for sales which was strictly halal, that is, legal within the Islamic purview. Hussein E. aimed at making this world a peaceful place to live in and to bring harmony among nations in his public talk, don't harm or reciprocate harm. Any question come to him, inshallah he may be able to give you the answer and all the reference. It's a gift from Allah. British Islamic Nasheed vocalist Abdullah Rohl performed soulful numbers in praise of the tenets of Islam holding the audience captive to his mellifluous skills. There were no musical instruments used in the Nasheed performances. There's not a mother in this world who wouldn't be happy to have a home for her family. Over 2,000 dedicated volunteers worked round the clock with their unmitigated efforts to make this 10-day journey of promotion of truth, peace and humanity profoundly effective and successful. Their efforts were highly appreciated by the speakers, press and visitors. The students of standards 6th to 9th of the Islamic International School Mumbai presented an enactment entitled Islamic International Dawa Conference. Imitating speakers as they sported similar attire, beards and mannerisms as that of the speakers, namely Abdul Hafiz Mullah as Sheikh Sudais, Arsh Jhagare as Ahmad Dida, Haris Ali Qureshi as Abdul Rahim Green. They pass it down from generation to generation. It is not that. Islam is a guidance that has been revealed by Allah, the all-knowing, the most wise, and the creator of the heavens and the earth. Labi Bansari as Yasir Fazaga, Osama Pirzada as Yasir Qadi. A question, a question that begs a response, but we don't have the courage to verbalize it. We are too embarrassed, we are too shy to verbalize the question, because we feel that the very formulation of such a question contradicts our faith. Saad Nadim as Hussein Yi. From one side, come from both sides. The husband must be loyal to the wife, and same goes to the wife. She must be loyal to the husband. Umar Qadri as Yusuf Estes. Going around everybody and telling them about Muslims extremists. Muslims fundamentalists, Islamic terrorists. We are hearing all these expressions. Yes, not only it is affecting the non-Muslims, it affects the Muslims as well. And Farik Naik as Dr. Zakir Naik. See, whether it be your fathers, your sons. وَإِخْوَانُكُمْ Your brothers وَأَزْوَاجُكُمْ Your spouses وَعَشِيرَتُكُمْ Your relatives Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is asking What are your considerations? The conference was not intended to be a one-way communication. There were open question and answer sessions after each talk where people in the audience present were given adequate time and opportunity to ask questions and have their doubts cleared by the speakers. Hundreds of thousands of people came for the Jumma Khutbah and Salah, led by Sheikh Salah al budair Imam of masjid e Nabawi, Medina. عاملة ناصبة تصلى نارا حامية تسقى من عين آنية 
ليس لهم طعام إلا من ضريع. Dr. Zakir Naik has been wonderful as always. Seeing the work that he's put in, not just in his presentation, but all the stuff behind the scenes. Really, I ask Allah to reward this man immensely because he's done an amazing job. Alhamdulillah, he's doing very, very good. He's uh, handling all the responsibilities of this conference and dealing and discussing and uh, management and to direct this all uh, conference in a very good way. I uh, pray to Allah to give him health and to give him ikhlas fi al-qawl wal-amal. Well, he's very confident and he knows all the answers of all the questions. So he's very smart. To promote the religion of peace, Islam, there were trained volunteers from Islamic Research Foundation who endeavored in explaining Islam and its teachings to huge gatherings of visitors at the venue, as well as answering their questions on Islam. I think it is getting better and better every time that it is taking place. I think also the need for Peace TV outside is also getting greater and greater. And the benefits are also um, getting bigger and bigger as well. So to be a part of something like this is, uh, alhamdulillah, I'm very grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that has enabled us to be part of it. Despite a hectic schedule and round-the-clock activity to manage and control the ongoing schedule and activities of the conference, the day-to-day -day creative decisions were meticulously planned and discussed to avoid confusion and lack of direction and then systematically implemented. There are so many questions and misconceptions about Islam in the minds of many people and they don't know whom to ask. In an exclusive marathon open question and answer session of three and a half hours on Islam and comparative religion, asked Dr. Zakir an exclusive open question and answer session, Dr. Zakir Naik gave convincing answers to questions from the audience on Islam and comparative religion and clarified their misconceptions. That Moguls have tampered the scripture, leave that scripture, have the pure scripture, Quran. And if you say they have not tampered, the Hindu scripture says you have to follow the Quran. Hindu scripture says that you have to follow Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. If you read the Hindu scriptures, Bhavishya Purana, Parva 3, Khanda 3, Adhyay 3, Shlokas 5 to 8, it talks about Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Bhavishya Purana, Parva 3, Khanda 3, Adhyay 3, Shlokas 10 to 27, talk about Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. If you read the Kuntab Suptas, Atarva Ved, book number 20, hymn number 127, verse number 1 to 14, Atarva Ved, book number 20, hymn number 21, verse number 6, Atarva Ved, book number 20, hymn number 21, verse number 7, talk about Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Even mentioned by name as Muhammad, he is called as Nara Shansa. If you translate Nara Shanta into Arabic, it becomes Muhammad. Rig Ved, book number 1, hymn number 13, verse number 3. Rig Ved, book number 1, hymn number 18, mantra number 9. Rig Ved, book number 1, hymn number 106, mantra number 4. Rig Ved, book number 1, hymn number 142, mantra number 3. Rig Ved, book number 2, hymn number 3, mantra number 2. Rig Ved, book number 5, hymn number 5, mantra number 2. Rig Ved, book number 7, hymn number 2, mantra number 2. Rig Ved, book number 10. Hymn number 182, Mantra number 2. Yajurve chapter number 20, verse number 37. Yajurve chapter number 21, verse number 31. Yajurve chapter number 21, verse number 55. Yajurve chapter number 20, verse number 37. Yajurve chapter number 20, verse number 57. Yajurve chapter number 28, verse number 2. Yajurve chapter number 28, verse number 19. Yajurve chapter number 20, verse number 42. I can keep on quoting only references of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam mentioned in the scripture. Aapse main chahta hoon ki kalma padna chahta hoon. Ashadu, Ashadu, Allah, Allah, Ilaha, Ilaha, Illallah, Illallah, Wa Ashadu, Wa Ashadu, Anna, Anna, Muhammadan, Muhammadan, Abduhu, Abduhu, Wa Rasuluhu, Wa Rasuluhu. I've been reading about Islam since a year now. I would like to accept Islam. Mashallah, sister. Congratulations. I would just say it in Arabic, and I wanted to repeat it. Ashadu. Ashadu Allah Allah Ilaha Ilaha Illallah Illallah Wa Ashadu Wa Ashadu Anna Anna Muhammadan Muhammadan Abduhu Abduhu Wa Rasuluhu Wa Rasuluhu
I may pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give my life to Dr. Zakir Naik, really. I'm amazed at the wonderful arrangement. I haven't seen anything in my life like this. It's really on a grand scale. And about the stage show, it's marvelous. The colors, the lights, uh, all the razzmatazz of Bollywood, minus whatever Bollywood has. Really Islamic, I think. We should go in a big way like this. And it's very, very impressive. I'm amazed. Life is a journey. A journey for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's sake. Sharing his thoughts on what we do in this life determines our destination in the next. Abdul Rahim Green delivered his public talk on the topic, The Journey and to Allah. you may not even understand how terrible it is, but because of it, Allah sinks you to the deepest part of the hellfire. Yasir Qadi enunciated on the most valuable piece of sacred literature in the history of the world in his deliberation, The Miracle of the Quran. The miracle of the Quran is so powerful that it does not need any other miracles to prove it. And this is why the Quran is such a powerful miracle. There is no doubt that the Peace Conference is a very unique conference in the Muslim Ummah today. And it is a much needed conference. It is definitely the largest conference of its type in the English-speaking world. And dare I say, maybe even in the Arabic-speaking world, I don't know of anything similar to this happening even in the, uh, in the Arab world. Simply in terms of the sheer quantity uh, of people coming and the fact that it's being broadcast on television. Uh, and uh, I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala causes this conference to bring about a change in the people and to make them closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to spread the true message of Islam. Concept of God in world's major religions was the topic on which Farik Naik spoke with much candor, clarity and convergence on the oneness of God. Among the Hindus, it is mentioned in the Bhagavad Gita, chapter number 7, verse number 20, that all those whose intelligence has been stolen by material desires, they worship the demigods. For the grand finale, the last speech by Dr. Zakir Naik covering every space on the ground, this sea of humanity of hundreds of thousands of people jostled in the vast Somaya grounds to listen to Dr. Zakir Naik's introspective, dynamic and soul-searching talk on what is the purpose of our life? To grasp the most significant question of our life and its answer in the concluding session of the Peace Conference 2009. Examples, George Bernard Shaw, he said, when talking about Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, I have studied him, that is Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And in my opinion, far from being an antichrist, he should be called as a savior for humanity. George Bernard Shaw. <laughs> Thomas Carlyle, who was a famous historian, he was a European, a non-Muslim. He writes a book, Heroes and Hero Worship. And he gives down the history of hero. And number one hero, a hero prophet, it wasn't Jesus, peace be upon him. It wasn't Moses, peace be upon him. It was not David, peace be upon him. It was not Solomon, peace be upon him. It was Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Imagine Thomas Carlyle, a European, was a Christian. He places number one hero prophet as Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. My name is Rashmi Sai. I want to you that I have Islam but I want you to read said that she wants to accept Islam and she wants me to make her read the Shada. Ashadu. Ashadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illallah. Illallah. Wa ashadu. Wa ashadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Abduhu. Abduhu. Wa Rasuluhu. Wa Rasuluhu. Mashallah, Abdul Salman ho chuki. Thank you. मैं एक हिंदू हूँ, अब मैं इस्लाम में चलना चाह रहा हूँ. The sister has said that she's a Hindu, but she wants to accept Islam. Ashadu. Ashadu. 
At the end of the conference, Dr. Zakir Naik presented a vote of thanks for all the international speakers, guests, visitors, volunteers and the many people behind the success of this grand and memorable event. I would like to thank the scholars, the orators, the stalwarts of Islam, more than 30, who have come from different parts of the world, from more than 15 to different countries. I also thank the Imams and the Qurra and the Nasheed artist and the honored guests who have come from different parts of the world to grace this occasion. I would like to thank more than 2,500 volunteers. These were the people who strived and struggled. I would like to thank them without whom this function would not have been possible. I would like to thank this vast audience, hundreds of thousands and maybe an estimated million over the 10 days for coming and guessing the occasion. And I'd like to thank those non-Muslims, approximately more than 25% is our estimate, for coming and listening to the message of peace, the message of Islam, and especially to those people who are like Hidayah and have accepted the religion of peace. I would like to even thank the technical staff, more than 1,000, who have been working for approximately a month to put this conference together, and the staff, of Islamic Research Foundation and the associate organizations. I also thank my family members, my parents, my wife, my brother, my children, without whose support, it would have been possible.